Ah, oh, I love it so much. <laughs> women's MX clinics in Missouri being behind the scenes, capturing women sending it, provide those images and videos. I am here for it. That's what I do. Feel good while learning something new. I'm excited for another year of bringing new and fresh content to you weekly. Welcome to season four. Now let's dive in. Record. Oh my gosh, this has been a while. <laughs> Almost started the podcast without recording. We ended off season three on a big celebration note. We celebrated on being consistent. I posted a podcast, posted, I recorded a podcast for basically 60 weeks straight. So that was over a year. So I finished off um, season two with being consistent like for the last couple weeks there. And then for season three, I posted every single week. So I crushed that goal. Um, and how lucky are we that we showed up for ourselves and that we stayed consistent for so long? I do believe that consistency is key. Whatever the journey it is that you are on, being consistent can get you so far and um, I truly believe that so congrats if that's one of you if you've been consistent on whatever journey that you've been on I'm proud of you I celebrate you and um, yeah I'm just really excited to get back into recording these podcasts and I'm excited for another year of bringing new and fresh content to you weekly all right well first off hey hi and hello if you're new here i am angelisa your host for brat babes throttle talk now if you are new here what is brat babes throttle talk so basically this is a blend of um oh my gosh so much it's a blend of like motivation self-development branding as an athlete or an athlete influencer um, we touch on digital marketing, working with brands, how to work with sponsors, how to gain sponsorships, how to be consistent, which is very key, mindset work. We talk about dirt bike tips. We talk about snowmobile tips. And we also have a whole lot of interviews from badass women riders, just like yourself, that are inspiring and influencing us in some way, shape, or form. I also have a ton of solo chats, and I also talk about my personal experiences. Um, again, if you are new, I am shy of five feet, so I feel like I have a lot of experience of testing out products, figuring out what works for a short, small dirt bike rider, snowmobile rider, and... Um, yeah, I just, I feel like I have a lot to say in that department and I love sharing my stories. So yay, if you're new here, welcome. I am very excited for you to be here. And for those returning listeners, I am honored that you are here. Thank you for being patient. I did take off, I believe, four weeks. I believe it's been a month. I think my last podcast came out July 16th. Correct me if I'm wrong, but anyways doesn't matter um it's been a while and I did note that in season three the last episode is I was going to take some time off and there's good reason why <laughs> um it's because well I'm going to do a bit of a recap I hosted two big events this summer that I'm so honored and proud of and um yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that, the recap of that and some other things that are going on and what you can expect moving forward. So welcome to season four. Now let's dive in. So if you listened to the last episode of season three, you knew that I was hosting these two big events. But again, if you, this is your first time listening in, I hosted a motocross clinic with Danielle Pettis. And then I also hosted a four-day enduro clinic with Meg Sprapp. Um, we're going to start off with the motocross. We're going to do some recap of both events. So we're going to start off with the motocross clinic. So it was with Danielle Pettis. If you are unfamiliar with Danielle, well, she crushes it at motocross. She is an exceptional dirt bike rider, an exceptional coach. Um, I did do an interview with her last season. I will link up her 
video if you're listening um or sorry if you're watching over here on the youtube and if not i'll put post her link in the show notes but anyways she is a great coach and i'm just so honored that she came back for another round of coaching you guys um at the motocross clinic so the last time she came out was i believe 2020 or 2021 i know we talked about this but i can't remember the the time frame um and so it's been a few years since she last came out and so yeah she comes from cam loops and uh she came out we hosted this on july 13th at green river motocross track which is located in pemberton and during that time we had such a big heat wave oh my gosh it was like gross out it was so hot and it made riding in the heat like unbearable like it was a lot of people weren't riding at that time we had to actually shut down a lot of our social rides because it was just too hot um we were pushing like close to 40 degree weather um and that's in celsius i don't know what it is in fahrenheit i apologize to all of you that don't follow the celsius um train or what whatever okay so i don't know fahrenheit okay uh so celsius it was pushing 40 degrees celsius i believe it did get to 40 degrees some days anyways it was so hot but i am grateful that we held this clinic in the evening it it went from like five till eight um and it started to cool down it was really cool to see some new faces at the motocross track and super cool to see some young girls attending the clinic um one of our youngest attendee was six years old oh my god she absolutely crushed it like i was blown away she was such a fast rider and like could jump so high like higher than I could uh and she was on an electric bike now I don't know what kind of bike but that was really cool to see because my daughter is also on an electric gas gas um dirt bike so speaking of my daughter Stella who's also 10 years old she attended the clinic and I'm just really proud of her for going into something that she wasn't as comfortable with like she dirt bikes at home But when it comes to the track, like we hardly go to the track and it's big, you know, the jumps are big and um, she is a bit too big for her bike. We do have to get her a new bike eventually. Um, So that was kind of a, a struggle for her. However, she just took away so much and she felt like really empowered after, which is so cool. And that's kind of the reason why I do these events is so that women can leave feeling empowered, leaving that they've like learned something new and met other riders and just continue those skills, those skill buildings and like show up at the track or enduro, whatever it is on the trails and just having that confidence. Confidence is huge when it comes to you riding there were some familiar faces at the motocross clinic which i was so happy to see there was a lot of um women that i haven't seen in a very long time because i haven't been hitting the motocross track so oh i loved it i love seeing everyone and i love seeing and meeting new women as well they absolutely crushed it um they left the clinic with huge smiles on their face which is always a good feeling when you do put on these types of events Danielle, she is such a natural when it comes to coaching and teaching women how to ride the motocross track. So I'm honored that she came out all this way to coach you. And I am excited for next season to continue on bringing Danielle, coaching you how to ride motocross and just working on some drills and skills when it comes to, you know, cornering, jumping, body positioning, all of that stuff. Because even if um, your focus is just motocross, like all of those little details help. And when you have somebody to like correct things with, you know, that you're working on, your progress is going to go so much quicker and you're not going to pick up those bad habits. And if you're an enduro rider, I highly recommend on, you know, putting in some time at the motocross um, track because it's going to help you with speed. It's going to help you with cornering and jumping. Not that there are jumps in the trails, but at least you can get an overall feeling of dirt biking and you just become an overall 
rounded dirt bike rider, which I do think is important when it comes to your journey as a rider. I have a recap video that you can check out here again if you're on YouTube and if not I will leave the link in the description box below but I captured some video of the girl sending it and also some really beautiful photos. That's one thing that I absolutely love is being behind the scenes capturing women sending it like that's got to be my favorite thing to do and witness. Ah, I love it so much. (laughs) The next event was Meg's Brap Clinics, and this was a four-day clinic, and I hosted it over on my private property, my enduro track, and it's something that I was really, really excited about to have people check out my park and check out all the hard work that my husband and I have put into and the fun features that we have. So um, how it worked was Meg's had three days of the 1.0 clinic and so the the first two days the Thursday and Friday it was women's only 1.0 Saturday it was women and men so co-ed 1.0 and then the Sunday was a 2.0 and that was co-ed as well so a total of like 47 riders throughout the whole week This was like such a cool experience because I've always wanted to host an event just like that, like host some type of clinic or retreat. Um, And this was the exact test that I needed to see how things kind of worked. Even though I put on events all the time, this was on my own property. So I have goals. And I just feel like now that I've, you know, tested a few things, <laughs> I can see that I, my dream can become a reality. Last year for, oh gosh, this was in 2023, um, in May, I know I've talked about this on the podcast, but I hosted a women's um, international, what was it? International Female Ride Day camp out on my property. So it was a dual sport weekend where I had sledding and dirt biking and that was really it was like such it was a test again trying to figure out how can I do these types of events on my property um that one was like a big commitment like we were sledding in May hopping creeks and then coming to dirt bike in the rain in my enduro park it was subpar conditions but I loved it so much so Anyways, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. So it's just really cool to have or to stack all of these events that I hold at my or that I've been holding at my um, property because then it gets me closer to the end goal of where I want to go. Um, yeah, it, it's really cool. What a great experience. And I also got to um, do behind the scenes. Again, I got to capture video and photos of all the women and all the men sending it again has got to be my favorite thing to witness and see. And I absolutely love to provide those images and videos to these riders because I think it's such a, like a complete package when you take a clinic. I know when I took my first um, clinic sledding to receive those photos of me, like getting my sled on edge was such a boost of confidence And then it also helps now. I don't know if you're similar to me, but it also helps with visualization for the next season. Same thing. um, My first dirt bike clinic uh, in Nelson at Crystal Loves Moto. um, Sean Watson took some incredible photos. And I really like I feel like that was like the ultimate like package because it was a weekend thing we spent time at the hippie ranch I think it's called um and uh it was such a fun time anyways to get those photos kind of made the whole experience very memorable and again I got to reflect on those photos and see like how big I was sending it even though it wasn't as big but like Sean did such a good job of making things look really big um I tried to do the same when it comes to um women sending it I and men um I try to make them look good right like and it's so exciting to me (laughs) because I can see their progress 
Um, and I just like, I value it, you know, I really do value it. So I've had, uh, I sent out the photos from not only from Meg's Braps clinic, but also from, uh, Danielle Pettis's motocross clinic. And I got a few messages or emails back after I've, you know, emailed their photos and a lot of women really do appreciate it. Um, and again, it just kind of completes that package. So I am here for it. I love it. That's what I do is I try to make you feel good while learning something new. All right. (laughs) Um, Because of this clinic uh, with having Meg Sprapp. Now Meg Sprapp is very well known. If you don't know who she is, I will post a link, maybe show notes on the video um, of her YouTube channel. That's kind of how she got started was posting about videos like how to ride, how to dirt bike, tutorials and that sort of thing. And now is doing tours around the States and also coming into Canada. So coming to Pemberton, it was her first time. Um, Honored, thankful that she chose us out of everywhere to come and coach a clinic. Um, Again, we we sold out every single day and um, I'm very thankful for that. And yeah, I think at the end of the day with having these two events, like I was fanning out hard, I look up to Danielle, I look up to Meg Sprapp, and how cool is it to surround yourself with like women that are pushing themselves, that really have a science that dials in their their skills, hones in on their skills and practices over and over again. Like I, I really do value that and I think it's important to surround yourself with these types of women that you can like either be coached by, ride with, or, you know, just soak up their knowledge because they have so much knowledge. Um, so yeah, fanning out because Meg Sprapp did stay with us. That was really cool. And um, my experience, well, I took the 2.0 on the Sunday and I'm just so happy that I did. She gave me a ton of skills that I get to work on now. And she also helped me with a feature that I have in my Enduro Park that um, I haven't hit yet. Now, I have hit it, but when it was smaller. So the feature is the log wall. And when I hit it, we only had two logs. Now it has three logs. And so um, having her there and coaching me through it, I did hit it. I only hit it once, but at least I have the tools now to like work on to get up onto this wall. Anyways, just really thankful that um, she was there to like coach me through it. And again, like I have my husband to help me, but like sometimes I find like Kenny, I love him, love Kenny. He's very helpful. He's great at like motivating me. And, but at the same time, um, he understands it. Like he has this, like, uh, he just gets everything and he's so natural and very talented. Like he can pick up anything and become so good at it. <laughs> um, and he's really good at breaking things down and coaching you through things. But I would say, you know, being coached by a woman is so different and having Meg Sprapp coach me through that log wall <clears throat> was really fun and really super cool. And again, I'm like stoked on that whole day. My whole week was awesome. Um, so those were the two big events. I do have a recap video of the Meg Sprapp clinic. It's kind of like a vlog style. I go through each day and you get to see everyone sending it from videos and then a ton of photos. So go check that out. It's going to be here on the video or it's going to be in the description box below. All right. So with these two big events, I really want to take the time to thank you. The ones that you know, came out and supported me and the coaches, whether it was Danielle Pettis or Meg Sprapp. These coaches dedicate their time to help you and they help you become the best rider that you can be. And um, yeah, both Danielle and Megs have traveled so far to come to Pemberton to coach you. So again, thank you to those who came out, supported the whole events. It really does... um, it, it warms my heart and it makes it worth putting on these events because they are hard work and it's time consuming. And, um, but I know how important they are and I know that, um, we need it, especially here in the sea of sky 
we lack with events um, that are like this. So I'm just really honored that <clears throat> I can bring stuff like this, that I can bring women to come here to coach you. Um, and it's, yeah, it's exciting. And I love meeting new people. I love seeing new faces. And again, I love being behind the scenes and capturing your sins. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. All right. So thank you so much um, to you that came out. And thank you to all that reached out, watched my videos of the events. Your support, again, means the whole world to me. And I am so, I'm so excited to bring you more. After these big events, I am more motivated to host more events on my pro on my property. And that, again, is exactly what I've been dreaming of for a long time, ever since we moved to this place and space here in Pemberton Meadows. <clears throat> um, capturing content and sends for the riders, you know, watching everyone learn something new and try something new. Uh, again, it's my favorite thing to do, to witness, and to capture. So let's see if I can turn my passion into a reality. I will be hosting some smaller meetups um, in the next month, so stay tuned. And the best way for you to find out about these smaller meetups is to sign up for my newsletter. That's where I'm going to announce everything first before it comes on the podcast and before it comes on to you social media. So I will leave a link in the description below that you can sign up to my newsletter. I come out with a newsletter. I'm trying to get better uh, every Friday, Friday morning. And that's where I'll announce anything and everything. Um, if I have any, uh, if I post any events, you know, if there's anything in the works, that sort of thing. I also um, talk about, you know, mindset stuff, branding stuff marketing stuff, athlete stuff, all of the things, the same thing that we talk about actually on the podcast is basically in written form, shorter, short, but sweet. And, um, again, all the events are always posted there. So I will be posting about the smaller meetups that I plan for the next month. Some of the events, for example, are going to be like barbecues. We're going to do a motocross meetup at green river which is in Pemberton. And then we'll also do one at my place at the Enduro Park. So again, sign up for my newsletter. Link is in the show notes. And what can you expect for season four? Well, more solo chats, of course. Some of the things that I've been working on, we're going to talk about mindset, goal setting, branding, and interviews with influential writers. Of course, so much more. It's just a blend of everything that I'm really passionate about. Um, if you would like to be on the podcast, this is really exciting. If you want to be on the podcast, I do have a sign up form on my website. Again, it's going to be in the description box below. My website is angelisaedwards.com. Maybe it's forward slash podcast, but I'll leave the link in the show notes below. Um, one thing that I struggle with is research. Okay. I research a lot, but because of my agency, I feel like I'm a broken record these days, but I've been busy with my agency and summer and all these things. So sometimes it's hard for me to stay on top and reaching out to uh, riders that would be interested in the podcast. Um, so if you feel like this podcast would be a great fit to share your story and your experience as a athlete influencer or, you know, um, content creator, a brand or whatnot you know like if you want to share your story then you can fill out that form and let's connect because that will save me a whole lot of time <laughs> oh, I hate to be selfish but it honestly will help so much so please I encourage you if you do listen in on the podcast um get over get on it um and fill out that form I have had quite a few people reach out to me asking what does it take to be on the podcast and so that's what it takes right now is just going on following that link filling out the form um and then basically you know it's it's what brat babes is all about is a community how you support one another um how you are influencing one another um your your story and how that's impactful and what you want to share um when it comes to a rider you know I believe that we all have a story 
and I believe that it is all beautiful and I believe that everyone can relate in some way shape or form and your voice and your story should not go unheard. I believe that women dirtbag riders and women snowmobilers deserve to be heard, to be listened to, and to have a platform and audience to listen in on. So if you want to be a part of that, if you want to be a part of the community and share your story, that's how we do it. That's how we do it over here. Moving forward. I mean, I will still reach out Um, for sure. And I have reached out to quite a few people. And so I will be having more interviews coming at you. Um, But if you feel you want to be on the podcast, that's how you do it. (sighs) Let's see. Let's see. Oh, before I let you go, something really cool. So my host for the podcast is um, Buzzsprout. And they just came out with this fun little tab. I think when you go on to podcast Apple and Spotify, let's just see here. Uh, Brat babes. Oh, it's been a while since I posted. Um, it, uh, so on each episode, it says, send me a note if you're loving the podcast. So that is called um, fan mail. It's a fan mail tab. And it's really cool because you can like submit your questions. You can like comment on anything about the podcast. You can give me like any insight or feedback, that sort of thing. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's really interesting. But if you're listening to or if you're watching this on YouTube, I don't have that link. But if you do have a question or a comment, you can leave it below or you can send me a DM on Instagram and I can share your question or your comment on the podcast um, in these little, like I want to start sharing more of what you have to say. So I'm trying to be better, but the best place to submit those questions, I would say is either DM me on Instagram, which is at Angelisa Edwards, or if you're on the Apple or Spotify podcast, hit that link, send me a note if you're loving the podcast, submit your question or comment, suggestions, feedback, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I will reply to you on podcast form. So um, a little while ago, <laughs> I did receive this. Uh, it was July 11th. Unfortunately, I can't respond to these questions that come through the fan, ma- fan mail, but I think it's because Buzzsprout is giving us the opportunity to have something to talk about, which is awesome. I love that. Um, so hopefully this listener uh, is listening in <laughs> for me to reply to you. So her, her name Again, I don't think this is a name. I think this is where she's coming from. Little Rock, Arkansas. I think that's a location. Correct me if I'm wrong. I am so sorry. But this is how I'm going to respond. So Little Rock says, Love the podcast. Just got my first dirt bike at age 36. I hop on as often as possible. I am in the U.S. Wondering if you have any connections of women's MX clinics in Missouri. Okay, first off, thank you so much for the kind words. And I absolutely love that you just got into dirt biking. Like, how cool is that? Um, I am Canadian. (laughs) Canadian. I am Canadian. So I don't have any connections to any clinics in the States. However, I do know a company called over and out and i've been following them for a very long time and i did a quick research and it looks like they just held a camp out or a clinic some type of weekend event in missouri so over and out they have multiple clinics multiple camp outs throughout the u.s now i'm not entirely sure if it's motocross specific or enduro or if it's a blend of both but i believe that attending these types of events and exposing yourself to different types of riding are a great skill to have to build your confidence on the bike and to have an overall better experience on your bike does that make sense Um, so, and this is also a great way to meet other like-minded women and to expose yourself to other types of terrain all around the States. If you're able to travel with over and out. Now there's a few other companies out there for sure. But when I Googled 
um, I, when I Googled MX track clinics in Missouri, Over and Out actually popped up. So they just had one last May of 2024. So I expect them to have kind of the same thing next year. Um, so follow them. I know they're on Instagram, Over and Out, or you can Google them. Follow them on their website and that sort of thing. Um, I do hope to do more U.S. events. It has been a very long time. I attended the Babes Ride Out dirt bike event back in 2019 and I was 28 weeks pregnant but it was like such a fun time like we did this big road trip with our dirt bikes me and a couple gal pals and it honestly was such a cool experience so um, I need to visit the states again it has been a while and to dirt bike uh, I would love to meet those of you that are listening in that are from the States. I would love to like create some type of meetup and like some type of ride oh, that like that's on my bucket list. Um, OK, my camera is doing something funky, so I'm going to um, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> OK, thank you so much again, um, Little Rocks for sending me that note. If you want to send me a note, a question or comment, feedback, that sort of thing, uh, you can do so with the fan mail link or you can send it to my DM in, on Instagram. Um, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me on uh, today's episode, kicking off season four. I am so excited. Have a, such a beautiful week. Happy Tuesday and keep killing it safely and I'll check <laughs> and I will catch you next week. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for tuning in in today's show. Please rate and review this podcast. I would forever be thankful and grateful. Share it with your friends, family, and whoever you feel would enjoy these types of conversations in the dirt bike, snowmobile, and motorsports community. If you are looking to support the show, I do have a few affiliate links in the show notes. And if you're looking for some confidence in the digital space, learning how to brand yourself, edit your epic sends, um, and just being the vibe, being your true self, your authentic self, um, shoot me a message. You can reach me over on my website, angelisaedwards.com. And as always, I am rooting for you and keep killing it safely. And I'll see you next week.